Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. This is your sister, Jessica J, coming on with the word from the Lord. And this is a special request from two beautiful souls. And I would like to give a shout out to them. Little boy who loves God and little girl who loves Jesus. A special shout out to your auntie, Mama Carla as well. God bless you all. What two beautiful souls you are. And condolences to the loss of their mother to COVID. Condolences, my condolences for the loss of their mother to COVID. But before I get started with the word, I just want to pray. And I'm going to start now. Father God, I just thank you for the leading and your guidance through this word, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I ask that you use me. Use me how you see fit, oh Father God. I know that you had me to take notes, but I ask that you use me on today on how you see fit, Heavenly Father. I ask that you speak to me, speak through me, and give me the right words to say regarding this special word for this family. In Jesus' mighty and holy name, I ask and pray. Amen. And this word, this particular word, is regarding bullying. Are you being bullied? Whether it be at home, work, or at school. Just know that God is with you. Don't be afraid of those who persecute you. Instead, love on them. Show them kindness. Believe me, I've been in that situation too. I've been there before as a child. Being called nasty names as in ugly and fat. Some of them even tried to pick a fight with me as a child. And even put gum in my hair. I remember as a child, I believe it was either my, my granny or my mother putting peanut butter in my hair just to get the gum out. I even remember some of the children trying to cut my hair. I didn't know why I was being bullied and called names and picked on as a child. But one way or another, I figured that I was a different and special kind of child growing up. And this is a message for those who are being bullied and a message to those who are doing the bullying. To those who are being bullied, again, God is with you and he loves you. Deuteronomy 31 and 6 says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And now on to the next scripture. 2 Timothy chapter 12 and 7 says, For the Spirit of God, for the Spirit 
excuse me, for the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-control slash discipline. Meaning that you do not have to be the bully back to them. Don't repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil or insult with blessings. And what I mean by blessings, kindness, love, gentleness, and peace. Sorry about that distraction in the background. He said, show them kindness, love, gentleness, and peace. Because to this you were called, so that you may inherit a blessing. And that came from 1 Peter chapter 3, 9 and Galatians 5, 22. A little bit of the fruits of the Spirit. Now Romans 12, 18 through 19 says, If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friend, but leave room for God's worth. Meaning, don't take matters into your own hands. Tell someone in authority, whether it may be your mom, your dad, your teacher, your principal, etc. For it is written, it is to, it is my, it is mine to advantage. I will repay, says the Lord. Let me re let me repeat that. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. Don't take matters into your own hands. Let God have avenge. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Now, this is a message to the bully. A message from God to the bully. Matthew 7, 12 says, So in everything, do to others what you would have them to do to you. I'm going to say that again. So in everything, do to to others what you would have them do to you. And Ephesians 4, 29 through 31 reads, it says, don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be encouragement to those who hear them. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior, fighting, cursing, throwing things, pulling hair, putting gum in hair, cutting hair, all those type of things. Instead, be kind. To each other. Tender hearted. Forgiving one another. Just as God through Christ. Has forgiven you. Love each other. Tender hearted. Be kind. Gentle. Loving. Pure at heart. And in soul. To one another. Lift each other up. Build each other up. Don't tear each other down. Don't be ugly to one another. 
Now, I hope that this word has blessed you. Again, my condolences to the two beautiful souls. Little boy loves God and little girl who loves Jesus and Mama Carla. My condolences to you all. God bless you all. And may God continue to see you through. He is with you and he loves you. And I love you also. Y'all be blessed and have a beautiful Sunday. See y'all guys later, y'all. Bye.